Lindsay here. In my most recent meals video, I focused mostly on breakfast type foods that we had been eating. So this is the follow-up that I had mentioned I'd be doing just a little more time in between than I had planned. But that is the way things are in my life right now. So doing my best to keep up with some videos and uh, hopefully we'll get back to doing them more consistently down the road. But here is a meals video that has some breakfasts and lunch. Uh, we mostly eat two meals a day. Once in a while we might have a third or just mostly a snack in between. And um, so the foods here are going to in part feature some of the beginnings of our own uh, homegrown foods. But we had to make some changes because we were really dealing with some digestive issues. I mean, some serious, really uncomfortable gas and uh, bloating. And um, I have always had on and off irregular elimination, constipation, and I'm going to be writing and doing a whole lot more about that as I work to unwind all those issues and resolve that. It's an ongoing process. But uh, we started to you know, do some research and through Ayurvedic medicine realized that because we have a predominant vata constitution, which is an air, ether, uh, dosha type uh, constipation and a lower bowel issues are common for vata types and it is considered a vata disorder whether that is your main predominant dosha or not. So to correct it, we were getting rid of a lot of the beans we were eating, which are very astringent and drying to the system. Vata types tend to be very dry, a lot more kind of hyperactive nervous systems, maybe tend towards insomnia, nervous disorders, um, constipation, and other issues. So in these meals, I did become more liberal with oil, whereas prior, uh, previous, I had not really been cooking with a whole lot of oil or adding a whole lot, just a little here and there. So uh, oils are best for the vata type, but they are also hard to digest. So while we went a little bit more liberal with them for a little while, the video I'm gonna do after this is going to show us really returning back to our macrobiotic roots and um, just a lot of signs and messages along the way, including just a real, a real miracle which I'll show in the next video. So there's also, um, in addition to less of the beans, we were just focusing more on a little bit of mung bean and lentils. Um, had to stop cooking and eating just big piles of black beans and pinto beans all at once, adding more spices to the foods. And then uh, we bought some sourdough bread from a local, you know, at the farmer's market, locally baked. And so some meals seem to repeat, and it's because we just kind of go with what we have and also through food prepping. If I cook up some pasta noodles, I'll make enough for a second day of meals. So they look very similar, but this is good time-saving way of eating. You know, just prep once and eat what you've prepped at least twice or more times throughout the week. So I might even make a big batch of quick blanched or boiled vegetables, and I've done that in the past. So. Anyway, I've written a whole lot more detail about the ways you can improve your digestion and minimize gas and bloating in two different articles, a blog post at thevegetarianintuitive.com and a whole website article on my newest website, which is still being built out, but that is just my name, tracymatez.com. So I'll link to those below. Hope you enjoy the video and look for our even more current meals to follow. This was fairly recent and now we've transitioned back to our more macrobiotic approach. Super happy about that. And anyway, it's been a fun journey. Enjoy the meals and we'll see you again soon at the next video. breakfast, Sunday breakfast, 
uh, about 9.40 a.m. This is some sourdough bread that was baked fresh yesterday. Uh, picked it up at the farmer's market. Still warm. There's some layers of uh, grilled zucchini, green and yellow, plus eggplant on there, left over from my grill project. Fresh farmer's market heirloom or beefsteak tomatoes, arugula, avocado, a little drizzle of flax oil, and extra virgin single source olive oil, plus some lemon and pepper. Okay, quick lunch. It's hot out, it's a no cook. And we are heading up north to go to visit a barn, local farm sanctuary called Barn Sanctuary. It's fresh lettuce, there's some peas and shredded carrot buried under there, sunflower seeds, lemon, little remaining homemade vinaigrette, uh, some more beet salad that's got a very light uh, kind of sesame um, marinade or type dressing on it. The rest of that panzanella bread salad and a sandwich. It's a sprouted grain oat bread with plant-based deli meat. Very simple avocado, Dijon mustard, and a little spicy spread. That's that. One of these three. It's mostly half and half of that. Topped off with a little of that. Uh, cooked in mostly hot water, but actually one cup of it was soy milk, so, you know, about half soy milk. Um, I'm going to have it with some green beans and edamame. There's flax, just a little flax oil, nutrition yeast, lemon pepper, and lemon on that. And a bunch of hemp seeds there. Had some cecchino blend, French press, almost gone. That was first. That's breakfast. Delicious salad. There's arugula, parsley, Boston bib lettuce, and some baby, like a green oak type uh, tofu that Don baked, sunflower seeds, flax oil, balsamic vinegar, a little maple syrup, and some really amazing heirloom tomato cut up all through there. The last of our red lentil soup, which was delicious, and a Green and yellow zucchini and red pepper medley. Also has a little oil and lots of lemon pepper, lemon and garlic herb spice and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Plus uh, kelp granules. Another hot day, so we are finishing up this loaf of locally baked sourdough bread. Just uh, lightly heat it up in the oven until it's just lightly toasted if it's not totally dried out. Um, this time I added some chickpeas that I quickly heated up in a pan with the olive oil and oregano lemon. And um, there's an avocado, the last of our tomatoes, there's a yellow tomato and a red and a bunch of cucumber. Then we're going to have some green beans that have been boiled and have lemon, lemon pepper, and a tiny bit of that flax plus olive oil blend and the rest of our beet salad that has like a sesame and um, tamari rice vinegar dressing on it. There's the rest of the big bowl of panzanea a la Tracy and Don. Don's. That's what's for lunch. Okay, breakfast. It's a green and yellow zucchini cooked with a little garlic, cumin, and uh, leftover brown rice, some Canadian spinach, and then a little bit of avocado or Trader Joe's. Super delicious. 100% whole wheat handmade tortilla. They're so sweet. Here is a last meal of the day, lunch slash dinner. It's uh, brown rice, and we just re-steam it to heat it up. Makes it taste fresh cooked. 
There's a steamed baby bok choy pea pods on there and I added shredded raw carrot and scallion. The dressing is a, just a about um, two teaspoons of flax oil, one of toasted sesame oil, one teaspoon of a little or reduced sodium tamari, and one teaspoon of brown rice vinegar. And here is the delicious uh, tofu seitan meat, wheat meat loaf that Don made, and some more of that beet salad. There's a roasted sesame seeds on top. We just dry roast them in an iron skillet. So that's lunch. Okay, fun bowl, lunch bow tie noodles that I just threw frozen peas in at the last minute to quick blanch them. It's just tossed with basically lemon juice, lemon zest, a little bit of olive oil, some zucchini eggplant. I also quick blanched in the water and then threw into a pan with mushroom and one Trader Joe Italian vegan plant-based sausage between the two of us. Got two bowls. And the salad does have some of our own homegrown radishes in there, although you can't really see them. The French pretty red and white ones. There's some fresh herbs from the garden all tossed through here. The salad has flax oil, maple syrup, and a white balsamic vinegar. Uh, this time I added some lentils salad that I actually bought at a market I hadn't been to before that had several Mediterranean vegan options including this tabbouleh. The salad is a homemade dressing with tahini, a little flax oil, a little sesame, light, there wasn't much left, a little toasted sesame oil, and then lemon, rice vinegar, and a little pomegranate vinegar, and those homegrown radishes are in there, some Japanese cucumber, I got nutritional yeast on this, lemon, garlic herb, peas, a bunch of stuff. All right, a salad main entree, Saturday afternoon, Saturday mornings we go out to breakfast with mom and get our oatmeal and whole grain bread whole grain toast that they have there, steel cut oats with some fruit and pecans on it. Anyway, this is a homegrown lettuce in here today. There's some lentils all throughout that were from a special market, um, farmer's market, really sweet, uh, like cherry type tomatoes, a little smaller, uh, baby cucumber, part of carrot. There's some bread that was old that I am using like croutons, avocado, olive oil, and a homemade tahini dressing. And I think that's about it.